Balance for a distance runner is one of the most important things you can have. I mean, there's a lot of things running form wise, not overstriding, having strength and mobility, but balance is something we cannot ignore. When you're walking, so you're either in two phases, both feet are on the ground or one foot's on the ground as you're swinging through with the other leg. With running, you're either floating, right? You're floating in the air or you're on one foot. So that balance component, yes, it's important with running, but it's even more important when we talk about, or excuse me, it's, it's important with walking, even more important when we talk about running. So a great way to work on our balance is actually work on getting that big toe to press into the ground. And we have a, a relatively light kettlebell here. What we're gonna do is work on our balance and work on right, making this tripod between our heel, the outside ball of the foot, the inside ball of the foot, and making sure that big toe is on the ground. That's how we create stability, getting those intrinsic foot muscles activated. But we're gonna have the kettlebell and we're gonna go over uh, what, I what I call kettlebell pass-throughs um, to work on our balance, our, our foot stability, uh, and also, right, going through weight shifts that commonly occur with running and how to handle those loads and your arch is really gonna feel this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand on a one leg. I'll back up a little bit here as you guys can see. And stand on one leg, I don't care what the other leg does. We're here, whichever way you can go, you can switch it, five pass-throughs one way, five the other way as I start wobbling back and forth. But we're gonna move the kettlebell around as we stand on one leg. Uh, keep the core engaged, right? This is one of my favorites to give somebody who really is struggling with balance of focusing not, on, not just on the big toe, once they master that, say, hey, now we can really work on keeping that big toe down. And I already really feel the arch work. And this is, I have one side that's much more, um, <laughs> much more balance problems on this side. Um, keep the core engaged, squeeze the glute, don't fall over like me. Keep it going, right? Do five one way, like I'll say that's five. Do five the other way. We're just passing through. Try not to have too much, right? Don't like, don't curl it, let's keep it low. Keep the elbows relatively straight, go behind. We're maintaining our balance the whole time. Switch legs, I really feel it, not just in the calves, but in that arch. As I'm doing this, we're trying not to scrunch the foot. You're just, or excuse me, scrunch the big toe. You're just pushing that big toe straight down into the ground. And we're gonna switch sides. So now we're on this side. We're going, passing through. This side is really easy for me. I have much less problems on my left side. And for me personally, I know my right foot tends to splay out more. I tend to have a little bit more pronation on the right, which makes sense. And my right foot's not as stable, which I know why. It's probably my glute and my foot muscles, my intrinsic foot muscles on that side. We're here, we're just balancing. Again, the other way, keeping that core engaged. Had to cheat a little bit there. Now I'm starting to feel it in that arch muscle. If you don't feel it in the arch, that's okay. Let's keep doing it. Um, this is one of my favorite exercises, guys, for working on balance and actually working on the arch muscles of getting them turned on and engaged and working on, hey, this is gonna shift our weight back and forth. When we're running, when we're running excuse me, especially when maybe you land on something not so stable of a surface and have to oh, catch my weight over here, prepares you for that, prepares your arch to handle those loads.